All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through Hope you're enjoying your trip through Algebra 1 at the very beginning. Speaking of at the beginning, this is the beginning of Module 1 2. This will be another quick video to help you guys complete this module accurately. If uh, you needed any, any help with it, then hopefully you've already attempted it. If you haven't attempted it yet, then I want you to pause the video at this point and then come back at the end and see how you did. Okay? <clears throat> so anytime, let's see, it asks us to describe the pattern. And so there's no definite right answer for this, but I'm going to say we add um, one dot in each corner every minute. Okay. Assuming the pattern continues in the same way, how many dots are there after three minutes? Well, for this, I like to make a chart. This is a very, you know, popular thing in math. Uh, after zero minutes, we have one dot. After one minute, looks like we have five dots. And after two minutes, uh, it looks like we have nine dots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think I see the pattern. It's going up by four every time. So after three minutes, and notice, this is what it says. We're adding a dot to each corner. There are four corners. So after three minutes, there will be 13 dots. How many dots are there after 100 minutes? Well, we could just write this table down to 100. But you can imagine that that would take quite a long time. Okay? So this is literally what where math comes from. Um, notice that the constant difference here is 4. So if you can visualize that on a graph, every time I go over 1, I go up 4. Over 1, up 4. Well, what that up 4 refers to is our slope. And maybe you remember y equals mx plus b, and maybe you don't. But our slope is this number here. And that's going to be one of the most important concepts in this entire class. So let's just try that, see if it works. Put in a 0, you get a 0. Put in a 1, you get a 4. Put in a 2, you get an 8. Put in a 3, you get a 12. Oh, that's pretty close. Look, look how close this one is to this one. This is y equals 4x. We're trying to figure out what that might be. Okay? What's the difference? This one's plus 1. So I think that after 100 minutes, since there are four dots being added every minute, and we've added one because we started with one, I think there will be 401 dots. How many dots are there after t minutes? Solve it by your preferred method. Well, let's try this. y equals 4t plus 1. Sorry. 4t plus 1. All right, let's, let's check it. Put in a 0, you get a 1. Put in 3, and you get a 13. Put in 100 and you get 401. Love it. 
All right, so now you're going to move into this assignment on solving patterns or developing patterns. Make sure that you read all of this. The reading is the, some of the most important part here. And finding the pattern is going to be something that you guys are great at. But I want you to understand every word in the directions. And anything you don't understand, just come find me and I'm going to help you through it. Hope this helps. Boom!